The next test we're going to do is the soil respiration test. The purpose of this test is to measure how active your soil microbes are by measuring how much CO2 they're breathing out, just like you and me. For this test, you will need your six inch diameter large soil ring, a way to hammer in the ring, so a sledgehammer and a wooden block. If you are working in a field with covered soil, you might need some clippers to clear out the area. You will also need a lid with your rubber stopper, stoppers on it, some duct tape, and the dragger apparatus tubes. So that includes your syringe and your needle, the tube itself, and a soil thermometer. The best time to measure soil respiration is after you've completed your water infiltration test. Even if you're not measuring the soil quality for the entire field, you're gonna have to hammer in the ring, just like you do for the infiltration test, and do both inches, so a total of two inches of water to get started. This is to make sure that your microbes are active and ready to go. We have already completed the soil infiltration test here. You can tell that the soil is moist. To get started, put your lid on your infiltration ring as snugly as possible. Now you wanna make sure this is a tight seal, so use duct tape to secure it. Now time it for 30 minutes. So we waited 30 minutes with the lid on and duct taped in, and it's time to take our measurement of soil respiration. The first thing we're gonna do is take your soil thermometer and put it one inch into the soil or somewhere near your ring. And take the soil, the soil temperature and write it down in your book. Soil microbes activity depend on the temperature around them. So different temperatures of the soil may impact how active the soil microbes are. So next we want to assemble the dragger tube apparatus. As you'll see on the dragger tube, you can, there's an arrow pointing in the direction that the air is gonna move through. So you want the arrow to connect the arrow to the tube with the syringe and the other end into here. You will use your garden clippers or nail clippers to clip the ends off of each end to put your apparatus together. Once your apparatus is put together, you can take off the protective covering of the needle and stick it into one of the stoppers. Next, you wanna pull 100 milliliters of air through your syringe. There you go. So you want that black stopper to be at 100 and you want it to take about 15 seconds for 100 milliliters. You'll see as air has moved through the dragger tube, it has turned blue. That's indicating a level of uh, CO2 expired. Now, if the reading is less than 0.1, the 0.5, you're gonna wanna take four extra 100 milliliters of the sample. But as you can see here on the dragger tube, where it says N equals one, so the number of draws was one, we are actually sitting about 1.25 or 1.5. So we only need to take one measurement for this sample.
If in your field, your first measurement is 0.5% or less, you're gonna to wanna to repeat this process four times for a total of 500 milliliters of air through your dragger tube. To reset your syringe, you're gonna to need to unattach from the tube from the syringe itself, push the air out and reattach from there. and you're ready to start again.